Um, so we're going to be using their um, creme brulee whipped curl cream and you guys can get this from your local Target. We're going to be using their Blue Blair. <laughs> Every time I try to say this, I just can't get it. We're going to be using their Blue Blair. <laughs> Blue Blair. We're going to be using their Blueberry Bliss Curl Control Paste. This is like a freaking tongue twister. Every time I say it, I can never get it out. So, yes, we're going to be using this um, as our gel. And I'm also going to be using coconut oil and castor oil as well. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put coconut oil on my hair. And although I have been preaching about finger detangling lately, I am going to be using my um, Michael Mercier detangling brush. And this is a cool one. This is like, it has sparkles in it. It's like glittery and it's a different color. And this one is for thick hair. I'm putting some coconut oil on my hair because as you guys know, our hair is already, um, you know, moisturized from our shower. Don't mind the oil that's not melted yet. It'll melt. And I get mine from Walmart. Right in the cooking section. It's so funny. Okay, so next we're going to be using the Curls Creme Brulee. Alright, next we're going to be using the Curls Control Paste, and this is the blueberry one. And a lot of people think, including me, um, think that you only can use this on your edges, but this is actually for your hair as well. It will help you have an amazing twist out. So now that I have all those products on, I'm going to go ahead and detangle a little bit more hair is definitely banging it's, twi it's very curly right now all right so now for this twist it's really detangled right now so I'm not going to borrow hair again I'm going to split this into two sections and each section I'm going to make it super flat and as I'm twisting I'm going to twist over the hair so as you can see I kind of flatten this section between my fingers between my thumb and my pointer and then randomly between these two this is flat it's super flat can you see how flat it is so as I'm twisting flat I'm going to also twist the hair so I'm twisting this hair as I'm twisting. I don't know if you can actually see this, but again, I'm super flat. The hair is super flat, but I'm also twisting the hair as I'm twisting. So again, flat, and I'm twisting, but as I'm twisting, I'm also going to twist the hair. Twist. Twist and cross over. So it looks a lot different. So let's do another one. your curls pop there's hold it's not sticky or anything all right so I'm taking these two sections they're nice and flat and I'm twisting and twisting each section 
So it's twisted. Twist. I hope you can see. It's like a small little difference um, compared to your regular two strand twist. It's a small difference, but it makes a big difference in the curl. The key to this rope twist is don't get too confused and try to twist both sections at the same time. One section of the twist is stagnant, the other one you're twisting and then you're actually doing a two strand twist. So when you do the two strand twist, the one section that was stagnant, you now can twist that one. If you have a problem with shrinkage after you twist your hair for bed, what you can do is you can put the scarf on your head first and then go and fish for each of your twists and pull them down and stretch them around your head. This will help your twist set at night and also have a stretch. If you're not going to bed, of course, after you put your silk or satin scarf on, you can actually put on a more, you know, stylish scarf um, and do like a turban. You guys know I love rocking my turbans. Um, and you can actually get this one for my boutique. I have three different designs and this is one of my favorites. Okay, curl. so it's the next day and it's time to take this out so we can style it. All I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of coconut oil on my fingertips um, just so I can rub this on my twist to get them all nice and cooperative. Ooh, I just got like hair in my eyes. So these twists should be super defined. First of all, because we use the curls products. And secondly, because we did that kind of like a rope twist. Super divine. So first we're just taking them all down. And then we'll go back through and separate them. But my favorite part is now we need to separate. And this also tells you if your twist out is banging because right now our twists look amazing, right? But once we separate, usually if you didn't put enough product or you didn't, you know, properly twist your hair, then once you start to separate these curls, that's usually when you can tell you did something, you know, not right. <laughs> um, but as you can see, I'm separating these 
and it looks good and actually the part I'm separating right now this is my problem section um, this is where my well to me it's a problem because the texture is completely different than the rest of my hair so this section usually ends up being super frizzy and just not styled how I want it to be styled I'm very impressed with how soft the hair is and it's not um, sticky at all or anything it's just super soft and definitely moisturized it feels it basically it almost feels wet it's so moisturized it feels wet but it's not um, pick it out because you guys know how I do but yeah look at those defined curls what I do is I'm going to lift my put my head upside down because I need some volume you guys know how I do it's not as stretched as I would want it to be but it's okay. It'll be stretched tomorrow or later today. So right now I'm just, I have most of my hair forward and I'm going to pick it up to give it some volume. But I'm not going, I'm not picking out the ends of it. It's just the, um, the root area to stretch downward. So this bottom portion of my hair is going to be like the bed for the rest of my hair. So I like to shape this going down I don't really and pull out. those apart a lot because I do not want to mess that hair up. Because if I do it too much, it will be just too frizzy and not even like a good frizzy. <laughs> one I style my hair you know how you know how some people say that you should style your hair how you want it to lay well sometimes that doesn't go for me so as you can see I twisted my hair this way because I want it to go this way well sometimes for people who like big hair it's better to then flip it over which I'm going to do because if you flip it over you have more volume on this side because you did twist it that way. Do you get what I'm saying? So I'm just going to flip my part over on this side so I can have bigger hair on this side. I really wish you guys could feel my hair right now. It feels amazing. It's so soft and fluffy. Um, but there is definitely definition. So yeah, um, I hope that this helped you. Today, definitely we're shouting out the Curls brand. We use their Curls Creme Brulee and also their Control Paste. This one is the Passion Fruit, but we use the actual Blueberry one. Um, the Blueberry one has a more, um, it has a better hold and it just is a different formula. But they both are absolutely amazing so definitely shout out um to curls for these products definitely go follow them on instagram which is frizz free curls on um twitter is free free, free. <laughs> on twitter they are free frizz curls as well um and their website is curls.biz curls.biz is their website so yeah but you can also go to Target, okay? Um, so yeah, you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you like my hair. And I will see you in my next video. Goodbye, curls. Mm.